Hello viewers, this is Jerry Michael from Scooby Doo. This is my 629 podcast. This is my 629 podcast. And like, uh, like always, I'm going to speak very loudly, very creative, and very slow in case you don't understand me. Also, I try to do my best not to breathe too hard during our podcast to record as well, not to cost me our feedback as well. And finally, it's the under 18. This audio podcast recording will, ta- it will change some adult language. It's your under 18. Once again, it's your under 18. You, it's your under 18. This audio podcast recording will change your adult language. Will, will, will change your adult language. Anyway, if you're over 18, that means you've got to watch this audio podcast recording. So anyway, with this and everything else out of the way, let's get to Star Trek The Lower Decks. I gotta say, I gotta say, this season was pretty, was good. I gotta say, like, like, you know, I gotta say, this was a good fourth season. It really, it really done some, we really got some more detail. We finally got the reason why murders, why murders, you know why manager it why manager if you know doesn't want to you know it's self sabotaging herself to from being promoted and what and, and, and why she's why she went from a white and star freak for a white and for a white and star freak officer into a troublemaker you know into a self made troublemaker so basically it will tie back so basically, all this ties back to with ties back ties back to Next Generation. That episode, the, the episode titled titled Lower Deck. So about that, if you watch the episode, there's this there was this Timorian in the Timorian the Timorian officer on the Enterprise that volunteered to a mission along with, along with the Kardashians, but she ended up being killed. So basically, turns out that uh, turns out that Meredith's behavior uh, with what uh, turns out that the Tavoy officer, I think Suka, uh, that's how you pronounce it, Sita, uh, yeah, I think that <laughs> I'm terrible pronouncing her name. So her friend got killed, who was serving on the Enterprise that got killed during a, during a volunteer mission. So basically. And, and he, so basically, that's why Meritor went from a that 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 started Meritor's downfall from a rising star free officer into what she is now, and plus the added the added stress of the Dominion War added to that uh, added to her uh, her grief uh, over her death friend as well, and basically, you know. Between her, the death of her friend on the Enterprise, and and the death, uh, uh, you know, and the uh, and the stress of the Dominion War, really, really, uh, really set Meredith back, back, and you know, and she refused not to be promoted because she didn't want, she didn't want anybody, uh, she doesn't want anybody, she doesn't want anybody who who served under her to die. Die, uh, to die. So basically, it was like you. So basically, that was the main cause of marital stress. Her, 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 her behavior and her and her loss of confidence. Her the death of the death of her friend and the stress of the main war caused caused Meredith to uh, and to and uh, you know to misbehave and and lost her uh, and, and and lost and and the law and, and, and also lose her confidence as well. So basically, we finally got that we finally got that answer in this season. Also, we get got a lot of characters relevant for for the other characters as well and cooning and cooning the new character to you know to, uh, you know the, the the Vulcan girl I can't uh, uh, tell her uh, I think her name is tell her that's how you uh, tell her believe how you that's how you pronounce her name if I'm pronouncing her name one please forgive me so tell her what's what's a good added what's a good added addition as to to, to the group as well to, she bonk, you know, tell her the Vulcan, the Vulcan, the Vulcan, the Vulcan, the Vulcan, the Vulcan girl, it 
was a good at you know, was a good addition to the group as well. She brought a lot of she brought some some necessary logic to the group. <laughs> so she basically brought some necessary logic to the group. Like you know, hey, like you know, hey, hey, I know what you guys are thinking, but this doesn't seem very logical. So basically, she's like you know, hey, this doesn't seem very logical or whatnot. Like you know, make no sense. But also, she also got to. Not only she brought Lati to the group, but also, also the group gave her more insight about about herself and about their about herself as well. So basically, not she made the group better, and the group made her better at the same time as well. And also, we finally got some. We finally also when it came to telling, telling we finally got some. You know, we finally got. You know, we finally got. I got telling. You know, really accepting herself and her and not being the shame of, of her race anymore. So basically, the Orion race. So basically, telling you know, being a. Uh, being a being being a pirate princess of the Orions, you know she was kind of ashamed of her uh, of her racist you know stereotypes, but she finally accepted them. Also, we got some more we got some more character growth for Boyna. We got some we got some more character growth to with uh, with Blackbird. But the one thing, the two things that pissed me off in this season. One is, oh, uh, it's, it's Tully and Blackbird not realizing they should be a couple. These are these two are getting with it. So they, these two are so getting with it to realize that you know that they should they they should be a couple. So basically, this you know I'm hoping that you know we're finally get to see Blackbird. And Tully finally realized that you know they they should be more than friends. And the other thing that the other thing that I who really think that uh, that the series should have done in this season is make Jet, uh, Jet Marcel, the you know the black dude that was introduced in season two, a, uh, a a main part of the group in this season. So basically, Jet Marcel was a was an officer that was uh, introduced in season two. You know when Bon when Bon when Boiler joined Michael's crew. We got Jet. We got Jet Marcel, a Starfleet officer, you know, saying same, same level as them. And basically, he he bought, uh, he was a, he would have made a good he would have been a good addition to the group as well. He, he was the type of person like, hey, I understand what's going on here. Like, you know, I understand, I understand where you guys are coming from. But uh, honestly, this is like, you know, he was not afraid to call out, was not afraid to call out murder and others for their boo crap and also, and also challenge. He would have made a good addition to, uh, to, to the Lord Death's game. So basically, he he but he, he was not afraid to challenge them you know, to to do better and also calling out or uh, calling the calling out the uh, matter and the other for their bull crap. So basically, he would have made a good addition to the crew. And also, we finally got to see Nick Marcel. <laughs> we get to see Nick come back and well, all that. You know, the plot was very good this season. So basically, we get to see Nick Marcel. Who's played by Robert, who also played by the same actor who played who played per, uh, Tom Paris and Voyager again, playing and uh, playing a previous role from uh, from uh, from uh, from next generation to come back once again. So basically, you know, it was good to see it was good to see Robert who. Who played Tom Paris? Also played Nick Lachette, and also played Nick and, and and Next Generation to come back again. So basically, the plot was 
it had a very good plot as well. This season was more about was more about growth, about us, you know, about you know, this whole season was was all about you know accepting, you know, uh, you know, dealing with, you know, dealing with, you know, dealing with, you know, expanding, you know, you know, growing, you know, growing, you know, about growing, you know, growing, basically growing with more responsibilities and whatnot. That's what we saw with the crew. As the crew got promoted, you know, the more that they, the more, you know, what the, what all the lower deck crew got promoted, you know, we, we see them, you know, we see them grow even more and when it comes to character better as well. So basically, this was a good season. So basically, the only thing I wish Wish should have happened is Bradford and Bradford and Telly should have, you know, finally admitted to themselves that, you know, that they should be a couple and 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 Jack Marcel should have been a should have been a, should have been added to the group in the season as well, along with Tella, the Boking the Boking girl. So anyway, but the the but the but the, the way that that this uh, that this you know in the final ep, in the final episode of in the final scene of the of, in the final episode of the season we see Tully the way that Tully smile uh, 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 got me thinking maybe there's something more we don't know about Tilly. So basically, the, as you know, that Tilly made a deal with her sister to in order to help with hope say murder from Nick. And so once that deal was once they did that, you know, she 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 was reaching she pressed her loyalty to work to her sister and whatnot. So basically so basically the way that she smiled after she after she said the re at the career for the last time was very suspicious. Very suspicious. So basically I feel like, you know, there might be more that meets the eye, uh, more that meets the eye when it comes to Tilly. So basically, like, you know, how we know that Tilly, that the Tilly for the last, for, for the last four seasons is, is her true personality. So basically, you know, I'm, I'm saying that, you know, there might be some more unknown details about Tilly that might be explored in in the fifth season. So basically, you know, I'm just saying this was a good season. You know, you know, just pulling out the point out the pros and cards of this season. So so basically, I can't wait for season. I can't wait till the fifth season to see how the characters go on. You know how how. How the characters the better in the fifth season. So basically, until season five, you know, this is this has been my whole review on Star Trek: The Lower Decks season two. Uh, 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 this has been my whole review on Star Trek: The Lower Decks season four. Until season five, sign off. What do you guys think? Good, bad, or just okay? Please let me know. Anyway, sign off. One.